Although, I mean, I, I love this shot here. This shot really good. Because we're getting the top, the art. Yep. I don't know if you can get the chandelier in too. Definitely, yeah. But, um, but I think that's really a nice shot. I think that it's sort of nice to get a shot of the fireplace, probably this corner, maybe oh, abroad. Without a doubt. Shot. Without a doubt. My name is Andrew Flesher, and I'm an interior designer. I love um, classic and tailored. I love natural materials. I, I love things that are made beautifully and that you buy once and you keep it forever. So today we are going to be photographing a house that I completed recently. I'm here with Susan Gilmore. She's going to be taking the pictures of the house and it's in Edina, Minnesota. It was uh, kind of a 1990s contemporary and um, we've turned it into something totally different. We ended up adding some elements in the house, some architectural elements, by adding some beams and some wood ceilings. And we put plaster on the walls. It gave it kind of more of an old, I'd say like a, a European look, but very cleaned up. I was keeping in mind the clients, their tastes, and the things that I know that they like. But I also, in every project, want to keep um, a color palette that runs throughout the house. I think it's really important to have consistency and um, and that unifies the house and it, it really makes the house flow and it makes it feel larger. It's almost a serenity that's created by having that similar color palette that runs through. Function and beauty are to me both very necessary and important. When you're taking a picture it's almost like you're creating a still life and it's like creating a piece of art in that room and so um, so it's just like it's moving something just a, an eighth of an inch or angling in a different way and that is going to create a pretty picture and so it's a composition within that composition of the bigger house and what that means is that I'm bringing accessories in I'm kind of just putting the finishing touches on the space yeah. but otherwise it looks great and then we'll oh you could bring in the little timbre table if you want I suppose. oh yeah it seems crazy that you have to make these little tiny adjustments but it does make a difference yeah. one of the things I like to do is I like to bring in flowers for instance, the, the, the house we're taking pictures of today, the family room has some yellow accents. So I thought, well, yellow flowers would really make sense in that room. In general, when it comes to accessories for a space, I, I really am into larger gestures, things that make a larger statement. I'd much rather have one piece on a table that makes a grand statement. Personally, I feel that um, the eye needs a place to stop. And a lot of times the architecture is pretty bold and strong and so I think that larger more statement pieces tend to work better in spaces that are like that and, um, and I love the combination of things that you wouldn't necessarily expect to see next to something else. I also love the combination of antiques and modern elements and I think that in both cases both the antiques and the modern elements need to be uh, not need to be what I prefer is to be very clean and tailored. How's that looking Susan? It looks great. I love it. Oh it's beautiful. Yeah. I think you know I, we got some great shots today. I think we did really well. We really did great. It's a really fun space and I really loved working on it. I think it turned out great.